Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, to do the new test prep. Today we'll be going over lesson number one on how to use the TI-30 X-Pro MathPrint scientific calculator for the digital SAT math. Simplifying radicals. Please note that it will only be covering uses where the TI outshines Desmos. I recommend you use Desmos for most questions. Everything covered in this lesson can also be performed on the TI-36 X-Pro, which you might find for cheaper in America. Let's get started. All right, so here's a couple problems on simplifying radicals. Why don't we jump to the calculator and do the first three? Okay, so first we have square root of 75. So I'm going to press second, and then the, where the blue square root symbol is, 75. Press enter. And we get 5 root 3. Now I'm going to do square root of 80. And we get 4 root 5. And now I'm going to do square root of 108. And I get 6 root 3. Let's go and quickly add those three at the whiteboard. Okay, great. Everything looks good. Let's try the last one, which would save us a bunch of time. 2 root 50 minus 4 root 8. Okay, 2 square root 50. I'm going to press the right arrow key to exit the square root. I'm going to do minus 4 root root 8. You could exit that again if you want. Press enter and we get 2 root 2. Okay, great. Let's move on to the next example. Okay, so here's an example DSAT math question. Um, this isosceles right triangle right here that is just telling you that it is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. It's just a fancy name for it. That is on the reference sheet. I pulled it down on the bottom here. They tell us that the hypotenuse, which is the longest side across from the right angle, is 64 inches. So I'm going to label this guy with a 64. And I see that 64 is equal to S root 2. So in order to figure out what S is, I'm going to divide both sides by root 2. And now I'd just like to quickly simplify whatever 64 divided by root 2 is. Let me jump to the calculator really quick. Okay, let's see what we get. First, I'm going to type in a fraction bar. I'm going to do 64. I'm going to press down to go to the bottom. Type square root of 2. And we can right arrow key to exit the square root, and then right arrow key again to exit the fraction. And if you had to keep typing, you could keep typing. And we get 32 root 2. So S is equal to 32 root 2. Let's go put that on our picture. Okay, so this guy is S. So he's 32 root 2. And then this other guy is S. So he is also 32 root 2. To find the perimeter, we can just add all these up. So 32 root 2 plus 32 root 2 plus 64. Again, it's becoming kind of obvious at this point, but let's switch to the calculator just to make sure we're doing it right. Okay, so we're going to do 32 square root 2 plus 32 square root 2 plus 64. And it tells me 64 plus 64 root 2. Let's go back to the whiteboard. Okay, so it's looking like that is answer choice C. So pretty helpful for that one. Let's move on to the next slide. Okay, so you may have noticed a common context for these types of questions is um, special right triangles. You can imagine this would save you a lot, lot of time if you came across a question where like they gave you the perimeter of an isosceles right triangle and you had to divide both sides by 2 plus root 2, you could use that fraction button and type in 2 plus root 2 very easily to get the simplified answer. Um, not going to do a problem on that. Um, I already did many, many problems like this in my video, Otocento number 7, Special Right Triangles. So if you want to see how helpful this can be on more practice problems, please go check out that video. All right, time to wrap up. Okay, that completes the lesson. Please like and subscribe for more digital SAT math content. If you're interested in my tutoring services, 
The link to my website will be in the description. I tutor SAT math and all math subjects from about seventh grade to AP slash early college level. Thanks for stopping by and good luck studying.